this example of SOLIDWORKS Explorer, we'll use the new SOLIDWORKS Explorer hack and go function to create a new derivative of an existing design. So you can see that I have a main base assembly. This is what I'd like to create a new copy of. So I'm going to go ahead and select pack and go. I'd like to include all of my drawings. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to change the name of the file from, you can see here it's main assembly, main assembly, subholder, and I want to save it to a new name that's going to be dash v2. So I also want to save it to a new folder instead of the main base folder. I want to create a folder called main base v2. So the first thing I'll do is I'll add the suffix dash v2. And next I'll browse for a directory where to save to. And I'm going to go into my demo folder and make a new directory, main base v2. Select the main base v2 directory and then simply save. What I've done is created a duplicate of this design in a new directory and assigned it new names at the same time. So selecting on main base v2 and selecting on references, you can see that all of the references are correct. Selecting on one of the components, like the hex nut saying where I used, shows the correct assembly reference. That concludes this brief demonstration of SOLIDWORKS Explorer.